Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new, but if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what I wanted to do with you guys is something a little different. I wanted to open up my backpack, which I use for work, and give you a bit of a dive into some of the tools, physical tools uh, that I use on a daily basis. And that's ranging from hardware, to the offline stuff like notebooks. Um, so hopefully this video gives you an insight into some of the things that I carry around with me on my regular typical day. So guys, just before we dive in, uh, just a huge thank you to monday.com who are sponsoring this week here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. You guys know I've reviewed monday.com before. Uh, it is a really powerful project manager whilst retaining its flexibility as well as custom workflows, allowing teams to really organize their projects and activities. Now, of course, I get the chance to check out a couple of project managers and task managers across my day, and uh, it's definitely something that I recommend, especially if you're in a team and you're looking to really coordinate some of your efforts. Now, I've done a full review in the description below, so you guys can go away, check it out, but if you just want to sort of check out the website and resources, I've included a link there below too. So that's monday.com and a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this full week here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. So guys, let's dive into uh, a few of the things that I carry around in my day. Now, of course, let's start with the bag. I think the bag is an important factor, I guess. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't travel too far to work. It's like a 15 minute commute, but my bag is this one. So the bag that I use is, I believe it's called a spiral roll-up bag. Um, it was, I found it in TK Maxx, which is a UK outlet store uh, for about 15 pounds. So it's pretty cheap. Uh, and you can tell it's cheap in terms of the quality of it. And, and it's probably something I will upgrade, but I like this design of this sort of roll up uh, bag. And it's definitely something that's coming in sort of fashion trend, it's probably out of fashion trend by the time I get to it. Um, but I quite like the strap that comes down. Uh, I don't like it because it's Velcro, but I like that concept. And even I could even fill it to the brim uh, using the extension. And I quite like the two front pockets. I tend to store my phone and my AirPods in there because I don't really like to take out my phone as much as I want um, when I'm traveling because if I've got a podcast on or something like that, just stow it away in here. Uh, maybe it's a thieves like dream, but it's ideal for me when I'm traveling. So inside my bag, I tend to store some general accessories like my glasses. Um, these are like prescription lens, long distance ones uh, that I use just for sunny days. That's just helpful. I also have this bag of like goodies. So this bag of goodies includes a whole range of stuff like uh, from extra headphones, like cheap five pound or $10 headphones, um, universal adapters, a couple of cables and a couple of chargers that uh, for Android, for iOS, ones that I don't particularly use anymore, but are pretty handy just to have on me in this like really nice travel pack. Um, Becky got me this one for going to Cyprus and I actually stowed her engagement ring away underneath all of this uh, and it's I guess it's quite special because I can keep it in my bag um, some days I take it out if I want a sort of bulk free bag and I know I'm not going to be in those sort of situations maybe I'm just nipping in or something like that but it, I find it pretty handy because it's got all of the cables that I need in case of emergency and also when you're in coffee shops and people go have you got an Android charger and you want to sort of help this is a handy kit. <laughs> so, something non-tech related again, uh, I have Monopoly deal in my bag. Uh, I've had this maybe the last couple of months. Uh, me and uh, Dan, who I play badminton with, well, sometimes we play Monopoly deal. And it's quite a handy game to have because it's like a 15 minute game. Uh, if you want to bump into someone or a social sort of bump in, it's definitely a game to bring along. So probably the bulk of the experiences inside of this Thule uh, sort of laptop sleeve or case. Um, I've found this a really brilliant purchase recently because it stores away my laptop, giving me the security. Like it is a really well padded unit as well as being a very nice interior because it's got this sort of fluffy design. Hopefully I can show you some uh, in the visuals because that really does give me sort of sense of security that my laptop's not going to get scratched when it pulls out or anything like that. So what I tend to have in here is I'll either have like an A4 bit of paper or a book 
as well as my laptop. Um, I, in the moment I've got uh, a copy of Wired because I, I'm slowly reading it. Um, and that's helpful for when I'm in coffee shops. But my the 13 inch MacBook slots in there and it's a great size and just seems really like, just fits perfectly. And then I've got this front pouch here which is like an extension of the experience. <laughs> extension of the experience. Which I have uh, a pen, uh, some extra headphones, um, not very well organized. An extra headphones and uh, an adapter, as well as um, a couple of uh, of the SD cards as well, just for when I'm like recording stuff. And also, I normally have a, a Lenovo uh, USB C adapter for the MacBook Air, um, MacBook Pro, because of the ports on the side. It's a really handy unit to have. And it's definitely something that I just keep and um, have on me like at any given point because I don't know when I'm uh, going to be in a situation where I, my charger breaks or something like that and I need a, a, an old version of it. So the final part of the experience is my two Baron Fig notebooks. Um, I have a red one which is the Raspberry Honey edition and also a purple one, which I've got recently, which is the Dribble Edition, um, and maybe I can take you through the ways that I use them. So the red one for Raspberry Honey, I use for general note-taking. Uh, this is chuck full, full of like, uh, sort of journal ideas and, and musings about everything. Like, it's just a gen general use notebook, because there's sometimes in my day where I'm like, need a notebook, got it there, and this one is more of a storybook. Um, it's got half of the page which is like, um, which is free for space here, for drawing. So I just draw a general bit and have that. So it's almost a journal. Um, and they both work really well together. They're not too thick. It's not like having a library in my bag. Um, but I tend to keep these at home, apart from the red one, which I tend to just keep on me all the time. So these are the final edition, these are the AirPods. I pretty much have these on me at all times. Uh, they're a great addition, especially when you're in a coffee shop. Um, so I use these for meetings, I use these for obviously using them as general headphone use. But what I particularly love about them is the wireless experience and that's of course why I got them. Uh, the wireless experience when you're in a coffee shop is a game changer because when you're in a coffee shop and somebody asks you something, uh, and you want to go over to them or I don't know something like that and you don't have to unplug your experience you can just sort of go over take your earpods and put them in your pocket now I've had a few problems with them which I'll be doing in a sort of uh, Apple AirPods review soon because I know you guys have been asking but it, it makes it for a really light experience especially if I'm just like um, like working really intensely and I need uh, a real set focus so these have been a godsend and uh, apart from all the charging stuff that you have to do with them they are really portable and handy so guys that was all of what is in my work bag um, it's obviously not I would say not as much as many people think because I don't try to carry my camera I don't carry maybe stuff that I don't necessarily need like keyboard or mouse because everything on my laptops works really well for that situation. Now, uh, I do, of course, in occasionally carry my gym stuff in my bag for the day, um, or I'll carry an extra bag with my shoes in, but apart from that, it's a pretty simplistic bag, and I try to keep things as minimal as possible. Um, I'm looking to maybe shuffle things down a little more and make it more efficient, so that update will probably come very soon. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video today. I'll include all of the products in the description below as well as some of the timestamps where I talk about them. So you can go back at any given time and find out what those products were um, and that might be useful for you. But I just want to say a big, big thank you to Monday.com who are sponsoring this week here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Uh, it's great to have a sponsor, especially because it keeps everything moving forward with the channel. Monday.com is a project management resource which has been growing in popularity mainly because it has a really custom experience. It challenges a lot of the sort of thoughts that we have about project managers uh, in our sort of like careers. Uh, so it's great to have uh, that option there. It's very colorful and has a lot of great functionality. I've included a full 30 minute review of monday.com below. So you guys can go away, enjoy that one, work out whether it's for you and your team and go and install it using the link below. 
Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you carry in your work bag. It'd be great to hear from your laptop to some of the smaller devices and even some of the fun stuff that you carry in there. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be really great to hear. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.